Hi, my name is Father Mike Schmitz and this is Essential Presents. Right now, uh, life is moving and people are going off to school, people are going off to seminary, people are going starting uh, their formation in religious communities and I live on a college campus and so that's part of my reality. Part of my life is like, here's all the students. Here's one of the things that happens is we have this expectation of the new school thing. Here's my major, here's where I'm going to live, here's my dorm, here's the college I, I chose. Here's what seminary is going to be like and here's what I chose and this is going to be awesome. Here's my religious life and the community is going to be like this then the reality and the expectation don't meet in the place we what we thought they don't match and so then all of a sudden we recognize i don't every day i don't wake up super jacked to be here like i don't get out of bed in, in seminary just like i can't wait to go to morning prayer at 6 a.m and i can't wait to go to classes about this or or we have this like we have a major and we're like okay i was pre-med but i don't really like chem 101 like what, what does that mean and not excited about seminary. What does that mean? And the people in my community are not the perfect people I thought they would be. What does this mean? Here's the kind of the short answer. Uh, nothing. It means nothing. It doesn't mean anything. Like this is the thing. When it comes to discernment, a lot of times we're trying to find these little clues of like, okay, this clearly means that I shouldn't be here. The fact that I don't like Chem 100, Chem 100 even though I, my plan is to be an optometrist, um, that doesn't mean anything. Um, that fact that, uh, wow, it's hard to get up in the morning and go to the morning prayer. What does that mean? It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean you shouldn't be a priest. It just means that, yeah, it's tough to get up in the morning um, when it's really early. And with this community, like, but they're not the kind of people I thought they'd be. What does that mean? It means that nothing. It just means that they're who they are, not who you thought they'd be. But, but, like, but no, 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 I thought that when I got to the right college, I thought when I chose the right occupation, because this is why it doesn't have to just about, be about college, um, I thought when I... Uh, started seminary that it would just be like perfect and I'd be in the right place and I would know this and every day I couldn't wait to get take the next step. No, 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 my friend. Here's the thing. There's this thing that my good pal C.S. Lewis calls the law of undulation. And the law of undulation is just basically a rule of life. It's the fact that our lives and almost everything in our lives undulates, right? So undulates like waves, right? So there's peaks, there's valleys. And everything in our lives, um, like the job, it's awesome. And that kind of stinks. And our relationships, they're great. And now they're kind of hard. Um, our relationship with God, like I've been talking with God and it's just really, really good, but now it's been kind of dry and desolate and I've been distracted in prayer. What does that mean? Nothing. Okay, now asterisk, asterisk. I'm making an asterisk mark, not hashtag, but asterisk. At the end of this, we'll talk about like what it might mean. But right now, it means nothing. It just means that you're living. One of the things that is a personal frustration for myself is when particularly I'll just use the example of some guys in seminary who will not be overwhelmingly captivated and uh, enthralled by the idea of the next class or of, here's the, even the, the thing where it's like, what, I, there's the cute girl behind the library desk, like I just met her here in seminary, what does that mean? It doesn't mean anything. It means she's cute and you recognize that. Um, it doesn't mean you shouldn't be in seminary. It just means I need to stay the course and here's the big key. Here's the key. That's one of the reasons why it's so helpful, the law of undulation. That's one of the reasons why it's so helpful to have a season for yourself. What I mean by a season for yourself is give yourself a time frame. For example, um, before I transfer out of this university, before I leave this job, I'm going to be here for at least a year. That's, that's like a kind of rule of thumb, right? I'm going to be here for at least a year. For a seminary, like I should be here at least two years. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to choose to be here at least two years, maybe three. Um, same thing with the religious community is like, you know, just general rule of thumb, I'm going to give myself this season because I will not know in a month or two months whether I should be here or not. I need to just lean into this season and just live the life. I think I just spat a little bit. I need to just live the life of a seminarian. I just need to live the life of a college student here in this place. Um, because of course it's going to be hard. Like, of course there's going to be this, you know, these valleys. Of course there's going to be this desolation. Um, because why? You just left uh, your people, everyone who knows you, they left, you just left everyone who cares about you to go to a place where no one knows you and no one cares about you. Of course it's going to be difficult. This is going to be a valley. But here's the rule of thumb. Never change your course in desolation when you knew that this was your course in times of consolation. Okay, again, just in times of desolation, just stay the course. That the course that you knew was you chose in times of consolation. Uh, St. Ignatius of Loyola, founder of the Jesuits, he had pointed this out. He's like, no, no, no. Um, when, the, when you knew something was true in times of consolation, 
you're going to enter in the time of darkness, in the time of valley, the under law of undulation, the time of desolation. So don't change your course in times of desolation, what you knew was good and true in times of consolation. That's why it's so good to give yourself a season. I'm here for two years and then I'll figure it out. I'm here for this amount of time and then I'll be able to answer this question. But in the meantime, I don't have to ask the question, what does this mean? In the meantime, I just get to live here as a college student, as someone who works in this office, as a seminarian, as a nun in training, something like this. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, here's the little asterisk thing at the end. This is with the caveat of unless you're in a place of danger, right? Like this what people will write to and say, but what about like a place where my roommate is telling, t treating me terribly and they're dealing drugs out of my out of the, the dorm? Like, well then transfer, move, move dorms. Yes. I mean, what if like I, I'm actually here in the seminary and it's crazy, like it's just the worst place in the world, it's toxic. Yeah, then you can leave. But you know what I'm saying? Just use your common sense. That's the asterisk. That's the caveat um, that you don't have to say the course when you're in a place of danger, just like you don't have to, like another question people ask, like, honor your mother and father. Like, uh, what if they ask you to do something sinful? Well, then don't do that, right? Okay, so common sense rules. Now, if you want some good rules for discernment, um, there's this great book by Jackie and Bobby Angel called Pray, Decide, and Don't Worry. There it is in frame. Pray, Decide, Don't Worry. It says, Bobby and Jackie Angel with Father Mike Schmitz. That's me. Um, I got to contribute a little bit to their book and it's awesome. It's published by Ascension and you can get that because this is Ascension. This is Ascension Presents. And this is Ascension Presents in a book form. So you can check out this book by Bobby and Jackie Angel. They also have another YouTube channel. I don't know if you've heard of them. They're on, they're on Ascension Presents as well. From all of us here at Ascension Presents with Ascension, my name is Father Mike. God bless.